Any questions before I go and exchange some batteries in the camera? You got life insurance, bro. <laughs> this guy, man, honestly, like, oof. if I had a student look at me, you got life insurance, bro. Like, what? <laughs> All right, stay safe. Stay very safe. And we'll see you at the next part. See you soon, guys. Peace. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next subject now, which was what we were talking about. The width restrictions, the dual carriageway is going to be a little bit of a longer section because we added the bit just before we came here, but we are here. So what can you see ahead, Max? This is what we're going to do now. So there's signs for giveaway for mm -hmm. oncoming traffic mm -hmm. because the, the road gets very slim. It mm -hmm. comes into a single, single carriage. Mm -hmm. So both... Um, Ongoing and coming traffic is using the using this road. So where you're talking about those signs, can you see? There's another circle one. The the one that you're talking yeah, about the is one. the priority. Uh, the red circle. Yes, the blue one's important as yeah, well. So like but the red the, the red one on the left. It's got two the arrows. Yeah, pointing in, which means that there's a width restriction. Okay. This is the smallest one. It's called six foot six inches. So it's the smallest. You'll get the larger ones, which will be seven foot, I believe. So this one's a little bit smaller than the than larger ones. It's to prevent the lorries from coming down this road. So just in case you ask why they're there. Uh, that's why they're there. Okay. I just thought it was there to complicate the, the driving. But I mean, obviously, there's some reason for these restrictions. Normally, there is. <laughs> Normally. Okay. So, yeah. This case, we have a, have a reason. Okay. Um, now, when you're... When we're talking about pulling over and stopping on the left and how good of a job Max is doing because he's picking nice spots to pull up, how do you feel about your accuracy knowing that you're always the same distance from the left? And there's a reason why I'm asking this, which will link into the width restriction shortly. So how do you feel about your distance pulling up from the left? Do you know how far you are from the left, like exact? No. No. Now I'm going to help you with that. We have a camera on the front of the car today. Can you see the camera, Max? Yes, I can. Now, the pavement is probably on the left of that camera. Yes, is that correct? Is. Yes. Is the pavement a certain distance? You don't have to tell me how far, but you can just picture it from that camera. So we could say it's about that far off, that far off. I don't know. What does it look like? That uh, far when off? When I close my eyes, about that yeah. far off, yeah. What I want you to do is to drive forwards in a moment. Don't worry about the yellow lines or driveways. And I want you to move forwards and move in a bit until that pavement lines up with the camera. As okay. you're saying, there's a bit of a gap between the yeah. pavement. So we're going to move up, move in a bit, and that pavement will come align with the camera. When that happens, if you need to, just straighten the vehicle a little bit and come to a stop. Okay, cool. Okay? Let's do it. Uh, just before you do that, just so that you know the difference... Don't say anything. Okay. When you're ready, drive forwards and we'll align the pavement with the camera and then I'll open the door and you can compare the difference and then you can share that if you if you choose. Okay. Very good observations before moving. Well done. I'm going to get away from this car case okay, so again. Sure, yeah, it's up to you. Just gonna go. Ooh. Like that's not lined up though. My eyes. Okay, it's fine. We'll talk about that now. It's cool. Just put the car into park. Cool. All right. So we felt the curb. Mm -hmm. uh, we might pick up on a little squeaky noise. So I think you either ran over a mouse or rubbed the side. <laughs> Just look at face. Squish. I'm just joking. It was the curb and your tire by yeah, made yeah. a squeak. Yeah? yeah. You heard that? Yeah, so that's right, you yeah, felt I heard it. That, yeah. You said the camera wasn't aligned. Okay, cool. It was just I, I've never done this before. I usually use uh one of these guys. I think we've done this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we usually just chuck that down there somewhere on the windowsill <laughs> and it's probably in the perfect position at the moment it actually is yeah. that's actually the worrying thing <laughs> yeah. All right. okay so the camera is not what i'd normally use right but we we're talking about the camera yes so now let me take let me take this guy away uh now 
what would you say the gap is from the camera? So between the pavement and the curb, it was, you did this with your fingers earlier. Yeah. It's half of that or yeah. less. It's almost touching. Yeah, yeah. Notice how Max had to close one eye because we have two eyes. We'll see two curbs mm. and it will look a bit blurry because the eyes are apart. The curb will be in a different eye line. So closing one eye, you're just going to get one curb and one true image. The only issue with that is you've got to remember what eye you close all the time. And I wouldn't recommend it when you come over and pull over. And yeah, obviously Because not. depth perception. But... We're talking about a reference point, which is what we're using with the camera. We're all going to start dying. And look at the difference. Yeah, it's very true. To be fair, that is very true. Ta da! And what we're going to do is we're going to go and use this because you know you're that far away from the pavement as you go through that width restriction. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So as you come towards the width restriction, if you keep this, this reference point, Mm -hmm. All you need to do is just keep going straight, nice and slow. And that is going to keep you in a very central position between the poles, between the gap, and you won't need to worry about accidentally knocking each side because you know exactly where you are due yeah. to that reference point. All right, what I need to do is uh, get Prepare. everything going no, no, again. No, 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 no. What you need to do is get your foot on that brake pedal just in case this goes west. All right. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be like this. It's constantly like this. Just get ready to drop it, man. Mind the new <laughs> leg afterwards. <laughs> okay, it's already starting to hurt my back. Right, um, and we're going to go run through that and go into the dual carriageways, and then we will have a look at the bigger roundabouts moving down the syllabus. Any questions before I go and exchange some batteries in the camera? You got life insurance, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this square, man, honestly, like. Oof. If I had a student look at me, you got life insurance, bro. Like, what? <laughs> All right. Stay safe. Stay very safe. And we'll see you at the next part. See you soon, guys. Peace.